hey guys thank you so much for watching it is rainy out here today but like one of the hawks that are nesting nearby screaming um anyways it is between rain showers so i thought i'd come out do a small tour and kind of update you on you know some of the videos that i've been doing where i'm just like like i want to say mass planting um i love doing those videos because i can just get the work done and not have to like come back and forth to the camera to um talk so i try to include like words about what i'm doing but let's go ahead and walk through the garden and i will call out some of those things that um i've been doing in the other videos and give you guys updates so let's go ahead and take a garden walk so here is the start of the back garden this is the veggie hose that we put up together you and i when i say like we i mean you guys and me um so basically it fit into the old um hose link um mount here so i just took one hose out and put the other one in hooked it up and it was ready to go and it works really good i will say that the retraction part of it is so strong that sometimes it can like yank me um especially like when you get <laughs> when you get close to this ball being up there like it like it has yanked me like trying to retract this thing but anyways i love it it works great i love this bed here it's got hostas hookara these are ostrich ferns these were in my garden before i moved in i have moved them over to this spot this bed when we first moved in only had hostas in it um and it had a lot of weeds and things so we've cleaned it out planted what we wanted in here and i moved some ostrich ostrich ferns in here and um i only planted the back row so we've got new um babies that popped up this year they look great there's a hookara i grew from seed hookara from seed hookara from seed it i mean like these guys are gorgeous they are about i would say these guys over here are about three years old i think i grew this one i'm pretty sure i did um he's a little behind but he could be a dwarf variety i would say he's probably between two and three years old i've got a virginia back here i love virginia big thick waxy leaves like a succulent um such a good shade plant hookara from seed lavender hookara from seed we've got some hydrangeas that go down here along with the illuminati towers um these hydrangeas are um i'll put it on the screen i don't remember at this very second but they are a smaller variety um panicle hydrangea now here starts the hookara that I bought um, from a nursery here in Ohio, Oakland Nursery. I don't remember the variety, but I love the color. I've got my Creeping Jenny. I did not put her in this bed. She traveled here and I love it. I Creeping Jenny is the one, like my favorite ground cover because she's easy to remove if you don't want her and she's easy to um, propagate. So if you just, if a piece gets over here, it's gonna root in. And that's exactly what's happened here. So this bed is so gorgeous against the screened in porch. Don't look in there, it's dirty. <laughs> we got some house projects going on and yeah, our first floor bathroom is a mess. I'll include a picture of what it looks like. It is, we had a sink leak and then we pulled out the wainscoting and just discovered just, uh, yeah, anyway. So here's that bed. This tower I planted up, was that yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, looking pretty good. We've had some rain, so um, things kind of get beaten down uh, from the rain, but they perk up after, after a bit. I've got two, actually a couple house plants that I, have put out here for bad behavior we've got this one this is actually a caladium variety uh and then back here is i think it's white wizard philodendron 
white wizard something like that i just put him out today because he had aphids on him we've got a stag horn fern under there some carnivorous plants down here i've got my po uh, pomeria um these guys i started from seed probably they're probably four years old now i read that they don't bloom until they're about seven so i've got a few years over here are the pansies that i got on clearance and then i planted them very thickly in these ikea hanging pots and they look amazing they're doing so good this one kind of got beat on by the rain this one's looking super full and gorgeous look at that that's why i love shopping clearance because all it takes is a little bit of love and the the plants will perk back up and do great all season long here is the raised herb bed still looks pretty small everything but it's doing pretty good i've got um sage oregano dill um thyme i've got my pink dandelions um there is some calendula and parsley you know the the staples and then here are those two white containers we planted up together. They look so much better. That first um, day, I was just not sure of this planting, but the hydrangeas have really filled in. And you can see them here. I hope they get a little bit taller because these, these other plants in here will overpower them. Um, the annuals typically do that. They, the annuals typically grow really fast and really big and the perennials kind of you know they grow gradually year after year so we've got some colas we've got this hydrangea i left the tags here so this is less dance sky view by proven winners petunia petunia and then we've got a sweet potato vine and they're looking really good this pot almost the same but a different hydrangea look at that starting to butt up this is hydrangea tough stuff top fun and it's looking amazing i might come through and pinch these colises just because they're starting to flower i don't really want them flowering just yet and this will help them branch out and get a little bit bushier okay so let's move on we've got some craziness with the trays um, everything is flooded from the rain they're just swimming in water. <laughs> These are things that I need to plant. These just arrived yesterday from Proven Winners, Walter's Gardens. Thank you, Walter's Gardens, for sending them. I got some Clarence Cordeline, which are gorgeous. I have to plant these up. These will be a thriller in a pot, some pot. I don't know which yet. I've got more sweet potato vine because I love sweet potato vine on that corner there. And then I got a Japanese maple. I've been looking for a Japanese maple, one that looks like this, that kind of has that foliage that drags the ground. And I found this at Walmart for 19. I was going to get a big one from Lowe's but they were just the price was just stopping me they were $150 um, $199 just depending on which variety that you were going to get for that type of Japanese maple and I just could not pull the trigger because it's just so expensive by the end of the season I might have if I didn't find one on clearance but I'm so glad I checked Walmart and found that guy there I've got this U-bed planted. Um, I will squeeze more plants in here um, as things start to grow and come out. We've got onions in there that will come out in a couple months. And then, um, yeah, so once those come out, I'll put more in and I'll interplant with more herbs. That'll be like if I run out of space in the other areas, I'll just start popping stuff in everywhere. Here's my smoke bush. So cute. I'm so glad it was in the garage in this pot. I'm glad it survived. I've got a little mangave there. I think that's a bad hair day. A little kid planter. It's got all strawberries. That's the veggie planter. I need to get it up on a table, but it's doing really good. 
Oh, okay, so my two arbors here are planted with the CL Perfume Breeze Rose, and I cannot wait for these buds to burst open. They're starting to bloom. I cannot wait to show you guys when this is in full bloom. It blooms all summer long. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me move around. So gorgeous. I planted these two last year and they did super well. This year they are, I mean, it's loaded with buds. Look at this. Let's see if I can get a better shot. I mean, just everywhere. And I probably shouldn't have planted two, but it's just, this is gonna be so amazing when it blooms. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. We've got some that are opening up there. It smells really good too, which is perfect being by the chickens, even though the chickens don't really, they don't really smell. At least mine don't really smell, but it's nice to have. Okay, so let's move back this way. Look at that beautiful Artemisia. We've got rhubarb trying to flower again. Oh my gosh, girl, I gotta cut this off. She's trying to flower again. I've got a huge hosta right here. I don't know the variety. Um, it kind of looks like hosta woo, but um, I'm not quite sure. It was here um, when, I, when we got the house. I think I moved it to this spot from someplace else. Brunnera and all of its babies everywhere. I think this here is a rock and grow. Let's go this way. Oh gosh, look. Constantly surrounded by slugs eating my plants. Let's see if we can get a different view. Such a gorgeous big hosta. Let me do a hand comparison. This leaf looks pretty big. So look at that. There's the cut flower space that we just planted. You see my creeping Jenny? I let her go to town up here. I don't mind because it adds that chartreuse undertone under all the dark green. It's beautiful. So in the video for the cut flower space, we planted a lot of different plants. I think I planted 98 plants or 89, 89, 86, something like that. I planted a bunch of plants and I was just like sinking them in as quickly as possible. Um, Snapdragons, dahlias, um, just to name two of them. But we, I did come back through and plant some more things. So I planted begonias in the front i planted caladiums like one two three four i planted some celosia um i planted colas let's see what else planted colas up there colas down here i plan to put more colas um, throughout here for some pops of color and hopefully it'll be really pretty this summer the one plant that I don't have out here that I kind of want are zinnias I usually grow zinnias but this year I decided um, not to for whatever reason I'm not quite sure why I changed my mind but I just decided not to do it this year. So here's what it looks like from the top of the hill. It's very pretty. Let 
now we're up here with the creeping Jenny. You can see her in her glory. And then this is us looking down. That's that big hydrangea there. Raised beds. I like this view. I have another huge hosta over here. This one is is not huge as in leaves but it's just so big i was going to divide it this year but i just didn't get around to it and then it leafed out and i'm just like oh that's pretty it's a big one so big it's probably at least three to four feet wide So now we're gonna head down the hill. We've got so many birds. You guys comment about the nature sounds and it's the sparrows for the most part. They have a nest up there in that crack. If you can see that. And they basically rule the garden. They, they fly and swoop down by our heads, not trying to hurt us, but like fighting with each other and um yeah it's, it gets quite uh busy and noisy out here with them doing their little bird things so the raised beds are actually looking really good that one in the center i'm gonna have to go in there and harvest that um those collards i do have a meal coming up where i'm going to make a big pot of greens so i'll probably take most of that out of there um, and that will free up some planting space. I do have lettuce in there that I'll keep going. As long as um, nothing's bolted, I'll keep it in there. But the greens, I will um, do probably a really hard harvest of them because when you cook greens down, it like it, a little, if you only get a little bit of greens in your pot, they'll cook down to pretty much nothing. So you wanna have a lot of greens when you're cooking them because they, they cook down kind of like spinach you put in a whole bag of spinach or a whole handful and it cooks to nothing there they go hi babies so they fight with each other fuss with with each other and sometimes we get in the crosshairs of them chasing each other around the garden but um, look at my climbing hydrangea. So big. I gotta show you guys my other giant hosta. Now this one for sure is a hosta woo because I bought it about four years ago. Here she is. It's a big one. We have a birdhouse there where um, someone has taken up residence as well. There's usually a bird in there every year. Um, and it's usually the same little bird, but this year I think the sparrows took it. So yeah, look at that. Got trays everywhere. We took the greenhouse in yesterday and I broke it, but I think it'll still work fine, um, yeah garlic's looking good this will probably be harvested um late june mid to late june the veggie beds are looking good i planted did some mass planting in here did some peppers herbs tomatoes um large um large tomato plants um so the indeterminate that produce big tomatoes are going to go on this and then in that bed over there we planted onions a few weeks ago and i added um, pepper a couple peppers in there got my elephant ears that i haven't planted in yet and the beds surrounding the garden are looking really good too everything's filling out Everything's looking really good out there. 
it's starting to rain again so i'm gonna walk you around a little bit more and then we're gonna head in, in case it starts pouring really hard in case you want to know how much rain we got gorilla carts full oh i do have a rain gauge too let me show you so that'll tell you got lots and lots of rain All right, let's head back this way. I've got my potted hydrangeas. They're doing good. Potted mini rows. Here's some of the hanging baskets. I actually have to dump this self-watering one because it's full. You can see there. Those are really nice. I got them from Fairy Morse, but the only thing is they do fill up with water when you have um, heavy rains. Got this container that I'm working on. These two containers here, um, I'm gonna plant the new canna lilies that I ordered. I'll be regrowing my stock. So a video for this will come out probably after we get some dryness out here. Colises, begonias. This back bed has herbs peppers, squash, um, got an eggplant there, nasturtium, got another miniature rose, potted hydrangea here, some more hanging baskets, we've got a hydrangea here, there, and then my clematis midori which is absolutely gorgeous this is my favorite clematis the bloom reminds me of dahlia blooms it's so beautiful don't mind my hose over there i'm hoping this clematis at least reaches halfway the halfway point i have a rose over here and i hope it at least reaches halfway We've got this beautiful checkmark trilogy that's blooming. It is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't done a lot of work down farther there this year, but I will eventually, I need to do some weed whacking to get that. Um, there is a ivy vine that kind of creeps up and tries to cover up the walkway. My clematis over here is blooming. My peonies are about to burst. They're looking amazing. Now let's turn this way because the rain is getting a little bit heavier. I'll just let me show you this Baptisia. Baptisia that's in bloom. Gorgeous so gorgeous if you guys have any questions about any of the plants in this garden that i haven't identified for you um, just leave me a comment and i will do so there's a variegated honeysuckle there gorgeous we had deer come through and they ate a bunch of stuff but the plants will recover I placed some pots out here to see if I like the planting before I plant them to see if I like the way they look. All right, let's turn back around. This is what it looks like looking up the hill. All right, I think we'll end this tour right here. I guess I'll just go inside and do some chores. <laughs> Even I don't want to, but I've been neglecting them for the garden. And that usually happens with gardeners. The inside gets neglected, but the outside is looking really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.